Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Simply Set. So, I wanted to discuss um, the aftermath of COVID-19. As you can see by the title, is Black America ready for the aftermath of COVID-19? And the answer is, of course, hell no. Basically, no one is really ready. However, um, the African American community is going to be at much greater risk. As a matter of fact, people now, they've been planning since day one of the pandemic, of day one since the lockdown. Not day 30, not after they finish watching Netflix or finish streaming when their favorite show comes on, they have been planning. What I've been hearing from a few people that are basically that own companies and i don't mean a manager or supervisor no i mean the ones that own the company the one that has the uh vacation home and the jet those individuals have been making changes and the pandemic has taught them a lot that they can do less they can do more with less which will increase their bottom line uh, the conversations that I've been hearing is basically about people who have large companies, they've decided that, hey, listen, work from home is going to work for them. So they have already devised up a list of individuals who they trust to work from home. And basically, these are people that look like them. And they've also realized that, guess what? If they can get more people to work from home that they trust to work from home, they can save money on office space. Ergo, there are going to be cuts. Ergo, not everyone is going to be called back to work. And what that means is not everyone, especially people of color or African Americans, a lot of us are going to be waiting for a call that, honey, it's just not coming. It is simply not coming. So we are not prepared, okay, uh, at all for the COVID-19 crisis. Most people aren't. This is new. However, the issue that we face is a lot of other cultures, they already have businesses in place where they can hire their own people. We don't have a black economy. The black economy, it is very limited what you may want to call an economy of small businesses, but most of our dollars are spent supporting other cultures and their businesses. Sometimes we don't have a choice and sometimes, let's be realistic, it is our choice. Look at the businesses in the black community. Those people are there not because they love us or they like us. They do not love us or like us, okay? But they love that easy money. All they have to do is show the hell up and we are coming with less criticism. They can beat us with a broom, with a bad rat-a-tat-tat, and guess what? We're still coming. So, in the event that a large proportion of our society is not called back into the workforce, where are we going to go? Where is corporate black America? You may find a few companies, guess what? They don't have enough jobs for everyone. Even they will have cutbacks. Number two, so aside from having an economy, number two, guess what? We don't have an inheritance. Our group primarily, and I think it's pretty much just program in us, or it's just how we operate. There is no inheritance. Everyone is pretty much due for self. Other communities, and I've seen this, my goodness, you look up, you'd be surprised at people that work beside you that are of different nationalities. They have a family business, or quite often, their parents have for them a portfolio. If their parents die, many older people have died during the pandemic. Guess what? Uh, they're not having to worry about getting me all stuff out before the, for the first cons, before rent's due again. No, 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 no. They've got condos. They've got homes paid for. They have got bank accounts. They have portfolios. Some of them are inheriting businesses. So in the event that we lose our people to the pandemic, what do we have besides a GoFundMe page? What, what where is the inheritance that Dust, some clothes, and maybe a vehicle that's still being financed at a high percentage rate. So we're doing the same old thing, having to start over, having to start over. Where's the real estate investment that we're going to inherit from a parent or a grandparent? Where's the commercial property? Where's the portfolio? Where's the stock, the dividend-bearing stocks? Where's the life insurance? It's 2020 and we still ain't winning. Where is it at? It is nowhere to be found. Where is the business that, that can be passed down to the next generation? So that person can have. So in this case here, are we ready for the aftermath? 
we definitely are not I'm afraid to say it we're going to suffer we're going to suffer greatly again a lot of companies are going to start calling back individuals but they're not going to be calling all of us because they take care of their own and sure there's racism but there is also a thing called cultural preservation and with cultural preservation those individuals they do not engage in self-hate they're not afraid that somebody looks like them is going to have something they don't tear each other down but best believe if it comes to a decision where Peter needs a job to feed his family his wife and his kids and Tyrone guess what if the dominant society is in charge they're gonna choose Peter and you may say oh that's racist well, what else is new welcome to America Again, there's racism and there's also culture preservation. They give that job to that person because they're making sure that, hey, he has income. If it's between Becky and Kiki and Becky's cousin is in charge, you already know, unless it's some low paying job or that may be temporary, she's going to give it to cousin Becky. Why? She's making sure Becky has income to feed her kids, um, you know, help her parents out. Whatever the case may be, she's extending to her a lifeline, a livelihood. So what are we going to do? Because we really haven't built on a grand scale. We've been supporting everybody else's dreams. So where are we going to go? All cultures take care of their own. We've been taking care of everybody else. So the question is, who in the heck is going to take care of us? Nobody. So we're like starting all over again. There's no inheritance. We don't have our own economy where we can go and, you know, at least get a chance of getting a job. We're pretty much dependent upon the dominant society. And the few black businesses that we do have, many of them are not in position to hire. As a matter of fact, many small businesses are going to be going under. All the PPE and the SBA, that's a different video. So that's not going to sustain us. So once again, we're going to be on the loop.